Hello and welcome to the first ever book tip. Hey, how awesome. Um, it will very likely be um, more of an irregular thing because I do not really read all that many books. But um, every now and then there are some that I come across that are absolutely awesome and I want to share it. So the very first book tip that I ever have for you guys is a book called The Ancestor's Path by John Lindner. I will put um, the, the cover in the description box, sorry, not in the description box, here on the screen. <laughs> I will put the ISBN, the International Standard Book Number, uh, into the description box. And you will see, very likely, uh, here on the screen, that the image actually changes. That's because it is not just a book. Um, I picked up a book slash I don't know it's like it has a it's it's almost like a board game but but none of this it's it's meant as a game the idea is this you have the ancestors past so it is a um shamanically themed book and um and has uh, astrology in and because you're watching thomas's tarot tarot readings um i always find it important to a certain extent um if i do book tips that they are about uh, the topic that you came here for or the topics that you came here for. In any case, The Ancestor's Path um, is a fascinating book and it's quite in-depth. Um, so let me just explain this to you without giving too much away. Ultimately, um, young men would go on vision quests when they reach a certain age. Um, and, um, and we are all on, uh, on different paths at different times. And that book will help you figuring out where you are at this point in time. Now the board that you have there um, will make this more palpable because the whole book comes sort of with um, almost like a like a like a a totem thing. So there's a kind of just see if I can explain this differently. In total there are 36 paths that people go through. Right? And in total there's 144 ways to be human so again so the idea is that you go through different paths um, and then the path has to do as well with a with a direction and so the point is you can figure out based on these paths and based on numbers and the likes um, where you are in life and you can actually ask questions and the little uh, board comes as a little compass that tells you where, in which direction you have to look for to actually get answers. So it's quite, it's about, um, it's, you know, in, in many ways, it's, it's about understanding the Native American side of shamanism a, a bit better, um, what paths there are, how to walk them, where you are, because you naturally walk them, whether or not you, sub you subscribe to, to any uh, term. Um, shamanism by default is, a, is an umbrella term. There's so many different types of shamanism. That book um, is about Native American um, and it's about predictions, one of better words. So it's about helping you to find out what to do and how to get through the path. And um, it's quite fascinating because the, every path that you could possibly walk has a totem, a spirit animal guide that guards it and that protects you on the path. So the little board itself comes with a little dice that has all the totems on it, right? And, um, and because in total there are 36 different, different paths, what it doesn't come with um, is regular dice. You don't really need them. I just want to sort of clue you in. If you struggle with, with, the, um, with the, the, the board part, because it can feel a bit gamey, that makes sense. The book in itself will give you an awful lot of background about how you can look at your life, how beneficial it is to look at your life. And what is fascinating about this, and this is where the, um, where the astrology comes in. Once you have explored where you are in life or where you need to go next and where to look, that all ends up giving you different numbers, right? And so uh, which then tell you which path you have to explore or to explore. It's a really fascinating book. Um, and then these numbers that show you where you are, for want of a better word, 
also then give you a timeline and it has to do with the moon um, so there's different types of moons at different types of, of the year that can help you through the path more often what that means is you are on a certain path you feel that needs to be explored um, or that needs to be solved whatever it is the time of year has a massive impact on um, how you will get through and so that book in itself will then reveal to you um, when the best time is in the year let's just say when you work or something you know and you know which what what areas you need to explore um, it will then tell you based on the energy of the universe when the best time for you is to actually take days off just to explore this if that makes sense it's not necessarily a book on vision quests it is just about understanding how especially in 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 more ancient or older native american tribes um life would have been lived if that makes sense so it's fascinating from a from a historic historical point of view but if you if you are into spirit guides and if you really um want to explore shamanism and see how much you fit in because remember these are terms right they have been uh, um, healers and medicine men in different cultures all over the world and um, for the most part they weren't called shamans that term came way later right they were usually elected elders of sorts but all of this is in the book so the book itself that is part of this box that you see here in the in the on the screen um, is fascinating even even if you are a person that sort of shies away a little from the board having said that i am a person i go off on a tangent a lot <laughs> and so um i don't it's not that i don't enjoy reading i do enjoy reading but but for me there has to be a purpose behind it and that book the ancestors pass helped me a lot to figure out where i am at this point in time so so from that point of view the purchase was amazing now i picked it up at heavenly treasures in cannock which is um, the shop where I do a lot of work. I will link the Facebook page in the description box, just in case you want to ask Michelle, which is the lady who runs it, um, if she can order it for you. But I will also put the ISBN in. So depending on where you are in the world, um, but the ISBN will then show you the book and maybe you can find it elsewhere. It is really, really fascinating how that book literally is there to not only explain to you what... You know when you're on a path let's just say you're 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 on a certain path and and normally sort of gives you a one-liner right um so it tells you what path you are on but the book goes really in depth and explains to you path by path what that really means so you get loads of answers and they're quite deep um awesome and um, so i'm a really big fan of of this um i i picked this up um not this is always how this works without wanting to pick anything up it's just it was there i saw it i had a look got it right so that makes sense so sometimes the idea is is to find and not to to seek if that makes sense so that is part of of how this comes my my belief is that everybody who who um finds this video will very likely um at least not be aware of the book um and will get a benefit from it so really really awesome um the ancestors path i don't deliberately i deliberately don't don't go into it too much because again you know i'm not a big fan of of, of the book tips where you go to a channel and then they discuss half the book and then you you just read it and there's nothing mm -hmm. else in there so i'm not too big a fan of these scenarios um anyway so the, the book is called the ancestors path really really awesome um it explains an awful lot about how to look at your life how to live it and first and foremost how to solve stuff which i find is the the most important thing really really awesome and i want to tell you a little story because the idea about the the, the path is this in total there's 36 paths that you go through and 36 3 and 6 is 9 9 is the number of completion and um at any stage you would only ever explore three paths because the highest number a, a dice can make is six 
right? So, so um, three times six, you have three dice times six will get you to one of those 36 paths. And if you do this numerous times, it will tell you the different paths that you go through. So in other words, the number, the number three and six is nine. Nine is the number of completion. The reason why you only use three dice is because three is the number of progression. And what is interesting is that obviously you see the number six a lot. Um, and six is the number of ether. And ether is what glues everything together, which is why you then learn to explore certain aspects of your life in a specific order, for instance, the way you feel this. Now, I wasn't really clued in how important... Oops! <laughs> Don't quite know what just happened. They may be telling me to shut up. <laughs> so, the interesting thing about this is that obviously the number six is ether, it's, it's what keep, holds everything together. And I had no idea how important that fact is because using the number or the highest number six uh, to figure out where you're going is really, really important. And here is a true story that I only really truly figured out after or while reading the book. Now, when I was a child, I remember not being in too many fisticuffs in school. And I remember being a young boy. I don't know how old I was, but young. And someone put me into a headlock and I immediately gave up. Right? <laughs> immediately gave up. <coughs> and I'm an asthmatic. And you can tell the moment I talk about it, <coughs> it flares up. So that trauma hasn't been quite released yet. In any case, I gave up. And I always have had problems for many years wearing hoodies, being restrained somehow, um, didn't quite like that. And to this day, I'm not a super fan of wearing a hoodie. Now, um, years and years ago, um, I had um, my first ever hot towel shave. <laughs> and I wasn't aware that they put a towel over your face, which is like, again, being, being um, uh, restricted somehow. Right? Anyway, got through it, didn't think anything of it. And then um, when I moved here to Canock, I found a really nice, um, it's called Man Cave, where I just get my, my beer stuff, stuff, where I just, you know. And uh, so I knew going to a hot towel shave means I will feel uncomfortable when the hot towel comes. So I said to the guides, I'm going there today, you know, and you bloody be there. And this is a true story. So what happened then, um, and it is funnily enough related to the book. So, I was sitting there, they, it, was, it was a much uh, more prominent beard then, and he took it all off and it was always under this blanket. And then um, while I was sitting there, I said to the, to the guides, please, please get me through this. And then I saw an elder in a cave and he invited me into a cave. And which is usually, which is quite usual, they wouldn't talk, you know, at least not the way we talk. And what he did is he had dice and I found myself having dice and he would roll a dice and I would roll a dice and he would always win. And I was like, oh, um, and somehow I figured this is really weird. His, his die, dice always has, has number six. And then he played this game with me of just rolling the dice back and forth. Um, and I got through this all of a sudden. I had no problem, no longer a problem. And then I realized that all of his dice or, or the dice he had had only sixes. So I thought, bloody Egypt, you're cheating, right? I did thank him for the help, but I was like, bloody hell, shouldn't, shouldn't guides do that? Should, you know, should guides do that? In any case, now that I read that book and came across the importance of the number six, because it leads to three times six is 36, three and six is nine, to completion of your task. What he literally said to me is, you got through this, you have sixes all around, right? Because obviously the, the cube has six sides and you have three times six is 18, right? And then you, and then you have six times six, which is 36. So you can't get higher then, then 36 and 3 and 6 is 9. So what he actually did tell me in his perfect way 
uh, and I'm just you know not not clued in enough <laughs> um, that now I don't have to deal with this anymore because I have reached the end of the learning curve on this path and it was shown to me by six sixes really really powerful I didn't understand that I actually accused him in my own mind of cheating as like well he's an old guy he probably meant well right because I was a bit pissed off, pissed off that, that they're helping and I could never win right rolling the dice so when I figured all that out by reading the book I had another really um, uh, massive answer and this is exactly how this works you will read this book and then things will click before you have to go on the rest of the journey because you will find yourself in the in the animal guides in the totems as they called it is a fascinating book sorry for rambling on for so so long um, I promise you the next book uh, tip will be shorter you know and also I'm just trying this out first time so let's see how this goes the book is called the ancestors pass by John Lindner um, and I will uh, post the ISBN in the description box uh, will post um, the link to heavenly treasures in the description box so that you will be able to um, order this and um, if you like the video please 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 like subscribe and share super super important in any case Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.